And you've explained that, that yeah. there's actually a part of your brain that grows. There's a brain area that most neuroscientists aren't aware of called the anterior mid-cingulate cortex. Okay. A colleague of mine at Stanford, Joe Parvizi, he's a neurosurgeon. He's in there stimulating different brain areas in human patients while they're awake, preparing them for neurosurgery. Stimulates anterior mid-cingulate cortex. And what do all people who have their anterior mid-cingulate cortex report? They feel like there's something about to happen. Something's kind of looming, a challenge, a storm, some will report, or a physical challenge. Now, this area has subsequently been imaged in people who are successful dieters. It grows larger. In people that fail at a dieting or, or nutrition program, it gets smaller. People that embrace a new form of exercise and here's the key point that they don't want to do, this area gets bigger. People that are just doing things that they enjoy doing does not change in shape or size. So when we hear, oh, you know, people should do crossword puzzles to maintain their memory, probably good to keep some cognitive flexibility going. But if you love crossword puzzles, you're not going to grow your anterior mid cingulate cortex. Right. If you love 45 degrees in the cold plunge after an hour long run in the hills, probably not going to do much to grow this area. If you really don't want to do something and you do it, this area gets bigger. And it's got inputs and outputs from all of these different brain areas that make all of this make sense like the dopamine system, like the learning and memory system, like the areas of the brain that say, no, I'm going to retreat from that. It's aversive. You push yourself to do something that you don't want to do. This area gets bigger. And the best part is it translates to an ability to do harder things elsewhere.